Hi, my name's Frank Valencic, buyers and sellers advocate at Advantage Property and Selling, and welcome to our market update. Well, the Melbourne market has continued its consistent performance, uh, averaging around 75% most weekends. Uh, the auction volumes have been around 700 each week. Uh, we're starting to see a more balanced market now, uh, where there's uh, you know, obviously a balance between supply and demand and uh, vendors' prices and buyers and what they want to pay. Uh, we're starting to see investors come back into the marketplace, which usually happens when the market starts to pick up. Uh, we've seen some big runaway results. Uh, one of the biggest was in Frankston, where a block of units in Lardner Street sold for 335000 above the reserve price. It had a very big block of land. Uh, we've seen two big record results this month. One in Carlton in Drummond Street, where a house sold for six and a half million, and another in my uh, hometown of Elwood, where uh, you know, our previous record of 6.82 million back in COVID in Normandy Road got absolutely smashed. In Bendigo Avenue, uh, a property sold for 17 million and fifty thousand dollars, so big result. The rental market has continued to see uh, pressure on tenants as the vacancy rate is around two percent in Melbourne. A balanced market is around three to four uh, percent. Rents are going up. Uh, you know, most of average around ten to twenty percent, uh, or around a hundred dollars a week. Some uh, tenants are paying more than last year. Uh, well, what about first home buyers? We saw a property recently in Charles Street, Northgate, sell for nearly one point five million to a first home buyer, and I can remember buying my first property in Hickford Street, East Brunswick, not far from there. Uh, for 168000 back in 1995. So it is getting harder and harder for first home buyers to afford to get into this market. Uh, my predictions for the year ahead, uh, we're gonna see FOMO come back, that fear of missing out uh, as interest rates start to drop. Uh, prices always go up and you know buyers are trying to then catch this uh, runaway train and they're forced to push themselves higher. So I think we're gonna see that later this year, uh, talk that interest rates uh, will be delayed, uh, the, the drops will be delayed probably to later this year or early next year. Uh, so smart investors are now getting into the market. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Jump on our website, advantageproperty.com.au. It's got some of our great uh, group block opportunities currently in Coburg, St Kilda uh, and in Thornbury. We look forward to seeing you next time.